to Unmuted. We got your esports and gaming's hot topic, hot opinions, hot ladies, and a mute button to level up the playing field. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Dwan. And if you have no idea who we are or what the heck we're doing, that's cool. You're new. Welcome. Now, producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board and topics to be discussed at the bottom of your screen. And at any point, when one of us gets out of line and definitely needs to shut up, the what? other can hit the mute button Wait. and put us all out of our misery. Yeah, it's true. Uh, let us know in chat when you feel like you disagree and when you agree with what we say. And we're going to start our debate with some good old-fashioned fighting. Literally. During the April 10th broadcast of the NBA 2K League, players from the Celtics Crossover Gaming and Hawks Talent GC begin fighting on stage. Apparently, one of the players refused to shake the other's hand, and after bumping into each other and exchanging some words, both players had to be held back by staff. ESPN reporter Darren Rovell tweeted the clip saying, just what the NBA 2K League needed, a good old fight. So Lisa, do you agree? This is what the NBA 2K League needed? Ah, uh, this is something all esports need. Ooh. I love this. I saw this as well on Twitter yesterday, and I yeah. was like, oh, this is spicy. This is yeah. the kind of thing that builds rivalries, yeah. and like, this is what gets us talking about it, right? So yeah. as long as no one actually got, you know, punched in the face, a little uh, bit of in your face is okay, I think. Oh, yeah, I full on love right? it. Oh, God, I love the drums. And the thing is, like, just re to relate it to the actual NBA, yeah. this is how things got spicy in the NBA. Like, this is when people started paying attention. Like, NBA is all about the drums, yes, on mm -hmm. the court, but also off the court. It's all about the players getting to the personalities and exactly the fire they bring mm -hmm. to these games inside, outside of them. And I want to see more of this. And not that I'm condoning fighting in any way, like, not getting physical, but I really do love trash talking. I really do love, especially, like, in the gears scene we see it all the time just the constant trash talking back and forth yeah. it's all love after the fact so i hope that all of these problems are actually not real problems i hope that However, it's mostly for show ever don't you think it's a little petty that mm. they actually started fighting just because one guy didn't want to shake the other guy's hand like i get it if you know you start the fire going being like you're, you're bad at the game but like you yeah, actually yeah. get it going but the fact that one person just didn't get the high five or whatever yeah. that's a little lame i think we can up that a little guys uh <laughs> no i don't know because sometimes we get heated right and pride oh. gets in the way so when you you're feeling very proud and even if you've lost the game and you're feeling extra proud like how are you gonna walk past and the guy kind of gave him a little shoulder too oh, right it was kind of a little shoulder, shoulder action like you want to get in my face like a little shoving I like females we usually don't have stuff like that like it's usually words or looks so the time I walk into give, you in the hallway what the time I walked into okay, you in the hallway that, was purpose, like that actually. was I didn't like the way you were walking that day I knew it <laughs> Do have it. you ever done something like yeah. this though? Like, have you ever VN someone like that? No, never. I've never been physical in that way, only because I genuinely feel like my ass would get totally kicked, especially by you, Lisa. But uh, so, I, so I wouldn't. <laughs> so it just wouldn't be physical. Like we're usually vicious again in other ways. Like our eye rolls. Like yeah. yo, my eye rolls can cut. But, uh, let me, show you, let me show you what Vicious is. Oh, it's over. Okay, next on. Oh. <laughs> Let's move on to this story. Riot Games announced a new partnership with SK Telecom this week that will allow the LCK to be viewable in both virtual reality and augmented reality. <laughs> Viewers will be able to watch the LCK in VR starting in the summer season. What's more, Riot is planning to create multi-view streams which will let you view the game in-game action through the perspective of specific Whoa. players. So that's Whoa. pretty crazy. Marissa, do you think watching esports in like VR and AR is the next step for esports? I mean, I've always kind of poo-pooed uh, VR and AR for different reasons, mostly because I just feel like I, I'll get nauseous when I'm living in that world. Right. But they've gotten so much better with it, and yeah. I've just tried a lot more VR games recently, and I... And I understand the hype like I understand the love for it and I understand getting into something like this so mm -hmm. you can really feel and see what the players are doing I love yeah. that especially if we can watch it for league yeah. a game that's been difficult for me to follow and understand because I don't play yeah. so to get in and actually follow a specific character yeah. a specific hero and just watch them play it out that might be interesting for that's me. That's actually really brilliant it's very yeah. immersive experience yeah. and I don't know I think it was last year at Worlds they actually introduced the is it AR where they yeah. had like a dragon come down yeah, yeah, yeah. land on the, the stage and like you can see that through streams right that was yeah. really sick everyone loved it so this is just yeah. them stepping making it you know one more step forward you know, like kda ovs yo kda ovs that whole stage show that happened that yeah. kind of blew us all away and we just wanted to replicate that yeah. i love that so much the whole ar scene yeah see it's things like that that bring new audience members in mm -hmm. and new people especially like imagine a mom watching for the first time and seeing what their kids are getting into like that would blow them away right no, so but be able to strap on and get in oh that strap 
Uh, okay. No. Uh, let's move on. Uh, no. Let's move on. <laughs> the Overwatch League may have less viewers than it did last stage, but it's absolutely dominating the Overwatch category on Twitch. According to the Esports Observer, the Overwatch League accounts for 57% of all Overwatch viewership on Twitch since the start of the year. By comparison, Riot Games' official streams only account for 13% of all League of Legends viewerships in that same time frame. So, Lisa, do you think that the OWL is dominating its Twitch category, or like I is mean, it, is it just more like league? Like, yeah, is it like? I just feel, I'll, I, I just feel by comparison, there are more league players that's been around longer. Okay. So how can Riot stream dominate all of them when there are just so many? I think the point here is like, so a lot of the people who are watching Overwatch, Overwatch on Twitch, mm -hmm. it's through the official league, right? Mm -hmm. So where, whereas Riot. There are people who are interested in the game itself, mm. not just the competitive scene. Mm. So I think it's actually bad for Overwatch that these numbers are coming in like this, because that oh. means that the only viewers that are watching it is watching it for this broadcast, this official broadcast, but no one's actually playing the game mm. outside of the competitive scene, hmm. which means there's no general interest in it, which is not good if you want this game to be long lasting. Well, maybe they're not playing the game, but like maybe they're playing it, they're just not streaming it, or they're, you know what I mean? Like I it could be that. We did just see recently on Twitter a horrible clip that um, a lady mm. named Rose shared about her experience playing online in Overwatch and Horrible. maybe it's just harder for players to jump in if they're a minority or if they're a woman to jump in and play these online games or getting bullied I guess it happens kind of everywhere it in every happen. game but just seeing that especially in Overwatch and I don't know because it's obviously better watching the official stream nothing like that would take place yeah. it's a lot more PG it's family friendly but the issue here is that we know a lot of games that have popular streamers and influencers mm. do very well, just like with Apex and all any new game that's coming out. The smart way now to market is to get an influencer to play your game, yeah. right? But if no one else is interested in Overwatch, then no one's gonna. You're not gonna get really new players, hmm. general interest. And I think that's actually not good for growth for the Overwatch League and the game itself. Yeah, it is concerning that the Overwatch League may not grow from here because we're seeing all this money, all these dollars, all these investors coming in. I'm not going to say it. Uh, <laughs> not yet, anyway. Uh, but now people are expecting more people to watch but if we've capped it off mm -hmm. if this is it now if nobody's jumping in and just streaming on their own yeah. it could be detrimental to the OWL we, we just don't know where it's going to be five years from yeah. now all right guys let us know in chat what you think we got to move on let's end our debates with some spice mm. specifically Chipotle <laughs> spice because the fast food chain is partnering with ESL and DreamHack Chipotle will sponsor a series of amateur competitions called the Chipotle Challenger Series <laughs> in a variety of East sports but instead of winning money competitors will receive a trophy free chipotle for a year and some chipotle swag what? so marissa do you think tournaments should there should be more <laughs> tournaments like this giving you free stuff instead of money yeah i guess like there'll be a wendy's one there'll be a mcdonald's like they'll just wendy's. have wendy's there'll be a wendy's <laughs> the Wendy one. Uh, i can really see that one because wendy's has been really great especially with reddit culture mm. uh i don't know about this no money thing but i guess getting fed is cool too you just got to have a side of chipotle away. Uh, um, for what? them undies. Oh yeah, it's a South Park bit. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just need it for your undies because Chipotle sauce, it's like a thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, I do love Chipotle as much as the next person. I'm just not sure I want to spend my time, money, and energy going to a tournament or competing in a tournament where I'm only getting Where's Chipotle that? cards. You're thinking too narrow. This is actually brilliant. Do you know how much money you actually <laughs> spend on meals? Like, if you calculate it, this actually might be more than a lot of like FGC tournaments are offering you in terms what? of prize pool. Like, wait, where's Hungrybox, by the way? Oh, yeah, that's so true. Yo, Hungrybox. We Shout out. You, baby. Last time we did an interview with Hungrybox, he was literally sitting in a on the patio at Chipotle, birds <laughs> chirping, eating a burrito. It was the best thing ever. Uh, he's going to so be at these tournaments. <laughs> for he's sure. He's going to be all over this. Uh, they're already, obviously, like, uh, you see a bunch of streamers, a bunch of influencers who have been sponsored by yep. Chipotle. This kind of makes sense for them, of course. I just don't want a gift card to Chipotle. I want Marissa. money. Money. It's not I a gift money. card. What? Like, hey, if there was a company that you would want to sponsor you for a whole year, what company would it be? Because then maybe you don't feel power, like, uh, you know, strongly about Chipotle. But if it's something else that you love, like, oh, I don't, there you. Mm. I don't. I don't know what that <clears throat> would be. Call us up, Starbucks. Mm? Call us up, Starbucks, because mm. we're willing to talk. No, no, I, I don't. I don't. No, no. I don't want to name names. She doesn't name names. Now it's time to see what two cyphers are up to <laughs> in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Pokemon and Jake, who are in a lineup to see the Eiffel Tower when one lady tries to sneak ahead. 
she, where's she going? Is she not behind me? What's the butt? Getting cut. No cuts, no butts, no kicking in the coconuts. That's what they say. Right, chat? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Does she have a priority ticket? Because she's... Excuse me? Oh, you have a priority ticket? Oh, sorry. She's like walking. Uh, no problem, no problem. I'm just curious. Oh, she's going on. It's, no problem. It's okay. No, it's okay. She's, first of all, first of all, I got to give her props for her strategy because there was like, yeah. the first thing is like, the, oh, I'm looking for someone casually yeah. Yeah. moves forward. Oh, I'm checking my phone as if I'm looking for someone <laughs> casually. She tried. I give her props for that. But you know what, props, the fact that they called her out yeah. because yeah. I would have done the same thing. Okay, I was going to ask. Yeah, so you, obviously, if this happened to you, you would have said the same thing, right? Oh, I, I especially don't like the, the chat and cut. You know the chat and cut where, like, they pretend to see somebody in line or they actually do know somebody in line, but not just, like, casually. Like, oh, yeah, how are you? And they kind of just, like, sidle their way in there. Ah, uh, that does not fly with me either. Uh, I don't I don't have any patience for it mm -hmm. because you're sitting there waiting. Even when, like, you're driving and somebody tries to sneak mm -hmm. in to a lane you've been waiting there forever. Oh, yeah. my God. God, that drives me When nuts. you put on your signal, it's an, a permission. You're asking yes. to get in. It's not like a, as soon as I signal, I can get in, okay? Yeah, That's yeah. just dangerous driving. You Thank need you. to actually give them space for them yeah. to go. Listen, I drive every morning. This me is too. like a huge pet peeve for me. <laughs> me too. Um, but just to establish, I don't like people cutting. However, if it's an old lady, I hesitate to say something. I no. think that's my only exception. If it's a senior citizen, I will let her go. Because honestly, Marissa, they don't have much time uh, left. They don't have much time left, okay? I'm going to let them go. <laughs> I'm okay. going to let them go first. Yeah, you're right. That's we have to only. think about that because we don't actually put a lot of respect on our elders, yeah. especially, you know, recently as we get as we get older, I'm realizing that we're putting less and less respect on our elders. Yeah. And that's frightening because we're getting older. We're going to be, oh, we're all going to be old, okay? If we're lucky enough to get there, we're all going to be old. So should we not try to somehow start respecting, yeah. old, like put revering them in some way? Now let's go back and to the old ways. that's how I do it by letting them revere. go in line. 30 Aww. seconds of your life saved. You're welcome. I, no, see, uh, I would let them go in line if they were like sweet and they kind of gave me a look like, and asked if it was okay. I don't, I'm not gonna let it happen if you're just trying to like sneak in there. It's like old people stealing batteries. They just like put it in their bag and they walk out like, whoa, what, they're old. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> like that kind of stuff? Uh, that's not gonna fly. Before by a senior citizen. <laughs> but anyway, no, it's that time was time to move on. Our next clip comes from Loading Ready Run, who were just sharing their insight on Detroit Become Human, <laughs> but the game didn't agree with them. <laughs> Uh, 21 month resub. Oh boy, I love this totally non-political game that definitely isn't trying to be about race and has lots of thoughtful and interesting things to say about the subject matter. So far, I'm actually in agreement that it's not about race. I mean, like it's... In a specific way. Yeah. It's, it's way too general to be specifically about race. I think there are probably elements in it that yeah. can be definitely read as being about race, but like, it's... It's not about anything right it's, now. Well, right now it's about, like, Did a you class know difference. Detroit was on the mm -hmm. Underground Railroad? A route for slaves... Okay, you just had to do it sturdy Canada like that, didn't during you, During the game? American Civil War? First of all, was <laughs> that Jennifer Lawrence and Scarlett Johansson, like, had a baby? And that was what came out? Because... That's I didn't I know thought. where the hell I was going. Yeah, I didn't okay. know. They've really been talking about this for a while now and exhausting the fact that it's not about race. Did you know that Detroit was on the Underground Railroad? Oh, like, okay. All right. So they're kind of bringing it back. I yeah. love that, though. I love that when, like, the medium that we're speaking of kind of, like, contradicts us. Mm. And, well, not us per se, but people that were watching. Yeah. And it kind of puts them in their place. No, I think... So wait, have you heard of this game before? Like, have... Did you, you know what human? Yeah. I've never heard of this game. So oh, what's no, the I, card? Like, I haven't, I haven't played it. Yeah. But um, it's the dude from... What's his face? See, now I'm going to forget his name. Anyway, they took, like, real actors and yeah. they um, just made the... I don't know. I don't want to get into it, Lisa. Oh, Honestly, right, whatever. It is, it is, like, heavy... People that make heavy chat. rain. Okay. Like, that, that whole idea. So it's very, like, story-driven. Okay. It does make you think. Yeah. For sure. And I love that, too, about heavy rain as well. Like, it makes you think there's certain things in those games that really piss me off so I try not to just because I don't I like when it. things get too heavy mm. right like I'm also playing a video game to escape so I don't want to get uh, too heavy into things that's what you know movies are for when sure. I can sit there and cry however they actually it's a great thing that there are some video games that tackle these issues because video games at the end of the day it's still at the end of the at day, the day. <laughs> it's still an art right and if yeah. there's a message that comes with it and for you sure. can have fun but still learn something yeah that's actually like the place to do it. So yeah, I yeah, respect yeah. the idea of, you know, putting a deep message, whether it's political or social awareness yeah, in a game. Yeah. No, you're right. But I don't know, did they do it right? I have no idea. I don't I like didn't the find. fact that it's a white lady telling me about the railroad. That doesn't make sense. She Tell me more. She has to speak to other white people so they know. Oh. Yeah. 
Let's take a look to Twitter now to spy on the pros and let this first one be a warning to you people. Mama's figured out Twitter and she's reading all your garbage. That's what my mom's doing. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Pro, Sam Sewer's mama may not be on Twitter, but she's definitely watching her boy compete. He says, I like how my mom texted me this after losing and did a 180 after. Mom texts, what the hell was that? Wake up and get your head back in the game and do a loser's run. And then after his next match, Mama says, GG's, I knew you could do it. You are the best. Aw, like some of us have mamas who just only comment with constructive criticism and don't follow it up with anything kind. Tina, she's calling you out right now. What? Tina. <laughs> Tina, I'm gonna sit up straight. Oh, that's gonna... cute though. Well, I like yeah. how she's so invested. Yeah. But maybe texting while he's playing is a little too much. Like he's trying <laughs> to concentrate here. Like the fact that she's like literally behind her shoulder. Well, not literally. Like yeah. in, on she's texting. watching. She's watching. Yeah. Texting that's him. a little intense. Soccer mom style. <sighs> stage mom style. That's the thing. Yeah, stage moms, right? Um, yeah, it's the equivalent to going to a <laughs> hockey game or a rec hockey game and you see like moms just yelling, especially the coaches when they mm. just give it to them. That's just kind of helicopter parenting, and I don't like that so much but if she helps him in some way if he finds this useful for him yeah. like maybe the yelling did work because he did turn it around like he also did a 180 True. so mama did a 180 True. and just saluted her son that's fine at least she followed it up with something sweet fair um i have the opposite problem where my mom doesn't know what the hell i'm doing oh at work so she doesn't give you she, negative or positive no she i it's like i don't exist oh my god <laughs> Yo, mom. apologies to our mama today. <laughs> no, no, no. Really giving it to them. To be fair, to I be just fair. showed, I just showed my dad and my mom the stream information, Aww. and just like yesterday, I saw my dad like the broadcast Aww. on Facebook. So like, I'm feeling the support. <laughs> I'm feeling the support. I'm gonna try hard for you, Aww. dad. Hey, what's up? <laughs> That's so sweet. All right, let's move on to the next one. The general manager of the Houston Outlaws is a friggin' genius. <laughs> he says, someone start a GoFundMe for competitive Overwatch subreddit, get 100 million to run an OWL team, make every decision based on upvotes, including hires, branding, and starting rosters, then turn it into a reality TV show and hit me with the royalties. Thank you, God bless. <laughs> All right, uh, would you fund this idea? 100% <laughs> would fund this. Are you kidding me? A crowdsourced situation where we control everything? The community itself controls? Are you serious? Of course I would fund this. This is exactly what we need. Like, all of this, esports is esports because the community makes it so. So why would we let these big companies, these big orgs, these big pockets control what we do Marissa. and say? I'm sorry. People on Reddit and just people in general don't know how building a team works. This is yeah, just they would, they would be for invested. a fire to happen. No, no, they would be fully invested into it because it's their money. Yeah, but it's invested. your money, you care. But it's, it's gonna be like maker. the worst play ever. Like in competitive no. Overwatch, it's gonna be like the worst play, no synergy. It's just gonna be like a dumpster fire. No, it would not. First but of all, this is not the LA Lakers. It would not be dumpster fire, okay? Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> no, no, seriously, th if you think about it, like what we care most about things when our investments are involved, sure. when our money's involved, when our family's involved, when anything to do with us as a human being and the things that we hold dear are mm -hmm. involved. So if we hold our money dear, and we invest in this whatever it is. It doesn't have to just be overwatching. It could be anything. A crowdsourced team. Are you serious? That's just I would bad fully idea. watch the reality TV show. Bad I'd be all idea. over it. I'd be upvoting shit down. Oh, oh. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uploading things, downvoting things. I'm all over it. Uh, that's Hit just me up. bad idea. Listen, bad our idea. last profound thought is super important. And I hope you all share this sense of pride. Mr. Beast tweets I pride myself in owning up to my farts. Did, so now, did Brownie put this in? The show? question is, Lisa, do you? Oh, this is really personal and I feel attacked. <laughs> but you should have muted me. Oh, damn it! Um, <laughs> can I just sit here and not know what to say? Okay, if we have to be TMI right if now. If we have to be honest? For, story, first of all, let's be honest. it depends on the context. If, what, uh, what does that mean? It depends if I'm opening up to it or not. If I can get away with it, I'm getting away with ah, it. Ah, Lisa! Yeah, but, but, funny story, the first time I met one of my friends in high school, we were at my house doing a project, okay? Mm. I went to like the bookshelf to grab something, bent over, and I let one rip. Ah! She looked at me, I looked at her, and I responded, oops, sorry, and then <laughs> moved on. Like, I tried to play it off so cool, and that honestly has become like the best story, because that's, that's how our friendship started, uh, right? Like, it was just so candid. Oh I owned it, but if I can get away with it, I would. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. Over gas. I kind of yeah. love that so much. Uh, I feel like, oh, 100% I own up to it all the time. Not only do I own up to it, but I like pre warn when it's coming. I let people know, let everybody in the room know. Uh, so you're no, you just it. you. Oh, 100%. I think that sharing is caring. Okay? So uh, if you've got something to share, not like just, this. Just let, 
just let people know. No, it's it's all good. Let's all own up to it, okay? Mr. Beast is on it. He knows what he's talking about, and that's all I gotta say. All right, you guys, let us know in chat if you also <laughs> share it. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to some crowd control. This is where we show you all the goods the people of the internet have been creating or sharing. First up is a post from Frosha Rosha Ooh. calling out how damn lucky kids are mm. nowadays. Kids today getting their video game turned into a movie like this. Kids in my day got this. <laughs> it's true. That is creepy looking. <laughs> yeah. It has a full body. Why does it have a That's full true. body? That's true. I know. We've had to wait a long time for this, mm. for these moments. But yeah. now the movies just have to be good. That's the only thing. Like, those movies weren't good and they also weren't animated well. Like, even thinking yeah. about the, the original Mortal Kombat movie, yo, like, that was okay because it surprised us and we were excited about it, but the second one that came out, oh my god, just full-on trash tier garbage. So, right. we need, we just need these movies to be good. They need to pay homage in the correct way, give us exactly what we want as gamers. But, I think having good effects and graphics also help. Yeah, um, sure. But I want to know, what was maybe your favorite video game character growing up? Character? Yeah. Hmm. That's it. I guess it was always Mario because that's who I like. I lived with my Nintendo everything. Like our yeah. N64 was everything to me. He's Italian. Uh, yeah, maybe. Like he's my <laughs> paisan. Like he's just out there saving the world, saving the princess, uh, searching in castles. Did yeah, you like the movie, the very first one. Uh, no, no, oh. no, not at all. No, I didn't at all. But uh, <laughs> no, I just feel like any kind of character. Like I obviously love Princess Peach. Any character that, that I could play that was a girl was really helpful as well because like you know you're a young girl and you want something to identify with yeah. um, where you could somehow be a hero and save the day so the second Super Mario Bros was special oh. to me because you can actually play as Peach yeah it was, a, it was a big deal feels okay oh. Now, why do you have one did you want to share I had a really big thing for Sub-Zero what but not well I guess I have a thing for Icy Man who knows I don't know. I just grew up with the original Mortal Kombat. I like Sub Zero. I just liked it. Okay. Oh my God. Don't judge Next me. Up, don't judge we me. Have a post from Try to Get Famous. This is your moment, buddy. Celebrating the fact that you can now change your username on PlayStation. Totally or from Xbox, whatever. <laughs> it says you've been playing as a Mad Boy 01 since 2011, and now he's changing it to Mad Man 01. What? He made it. He oh, made it. he's a man. Oh, he's you a man. To change it. His thing dropped. He's a man now. Oh my. He's a <sighs> man. He's talking to ladies like they're human beings. <laughs> so nice. I love when they grow up. What was I your first gamer it. tag? Um, I think I've only had one gamer tag and it was actually like for League. Oh. And I'm actually really embarrassed about this. I oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, but before I tell you, I need to explain why <laughs> I did it. Okay. I was inspired by pro player Wild turtle, okay? okay? I thought the thing was to do was just grab an animal, grab an object, uh, adjective, and then yeah. just put it together. That makes so sense. I became Shrieking Fox. Uh, it's suitable, isn't it? It actually kind of fits me. Uh, you know what, actually? Right? Yeah. But you know what the bad thing is? Shrieking is actually not an easy word to spell. Oh, I, I kind of mess up the I and E all the time, so I should have thought that through. <laughs> but <laughs> I did not think that through. I before E, <laughs> except after C, Lisa. You know the rules. <sighs> you know them's rules. Whatever. How about, you? Just, How about you? I've always just been Emrov. See, been that's lack of creativity right there. It, to it totally is. If you can change 100. it now, well, you could change it now. What would you change it to? Okay, I like your whole idea of taking an animal yeah. and putting it a word. Uh, so, um, some kind of adjective butt? with it. Oh. No, not that's stinky a brody with No, animal. Yeah, that's exactly that's a brody <laughs> thing. Uh, what kind of animal? I like um, falcons. I like birds of prey. So I would be some kind of Pigeon. falcon or eagle. <laughs> no, that's bird. <laughs> no, pigeons get eaten. Okay. Pigeons are they, they, no. Oh, by, yes, they're by savages falcons. in the city. No, they no. will die to your face I, when you're eating a hot dog no. down the street. They don't no, care. No, no, no. Seeing pigeons are vicious. You know what's called no, that from Pigeons now are pets. She is a pigeon. What? Finally, Lisa. let's move it up. <laughs> We're going to wrap it up with a post from user Giggle Muggle. Muggle. Whoops. Mug one. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Harry Potter fan. They posted this picture. Co-host, middle school, Fortnite detox, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um... First of all, can we talk about the name of that school? Because that's unfortunate. Cohos, yeah. Cohos. That is very unfortunate. Um, what's a Fortnite? What's a Fortnite detox? Are you playing Apex or something? No. What they're saying is that people are so obsessed with Fortnite, like they have to go to school to get a detox, like from eight till three. Oh, Marissa. yo, I should go to school. <laughs> you need to get your head on straight, okay? <laughs> Um, curious, what was yeah. the longest, like, what was the longest amount of time you spent playing a single game without I, stopping? Uh, Skyrim, for sure. Okay, how long? Uh, full, I think I put a, it was, 
I don't remember because I had to sleep. <laughs> I, days I, blur. I literally know, like I literally made a, a big pot of soup. I sort of made a big pot of soup. I didn't I didn't wear pants for like a full week and I just wrapped myself in a blanket and I just kept Are going you back sick? to the pot. That's what no! sick people do. <laughs> I just kept going back to the pot of soup and like filling it up and coming back and sitting with my controller, like I wrapped it up and sitting playing Skyrim because it was like there, it's like a lot of winter in Skyrim as well. So like I just felt like it was warming me up. Listen, I think I did 180 Too hours. <laughs> It was 180 uh, hours, kind of consecutively, but I, I slept and I got up. Like I oh, literally took a week sleep, off work. Though. You did yeah, yeah. sleep. No, just to play because I was so obsessed. Wait, you took a it week off work? That's why you yeah. were gone? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's wow. Okay. Wait, I don't work there anymore, so it's fine. I can say it publicly. Yeah, but now when you go. disappear for a week here, now we know where you went. Well, listen, if another Elder Scrolls game comes out, yeah, I mean, probably. We're all taking the week off, guys. Yeah. Everyone. Just letting you know. Listen, uh, Lisa. Yeah. Love you. Uh. You I shrieking you so fox, you. Don't call me that. Ah, you ferocious pigeon, you. <laughs> no, I don't call it a pigeon. You, you falcon all the pigeon. way. Falcon, <laughs> show your face. Listen, that's all for today on Unmuted. We want to know what was your favorite part to let us know in chat. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials by pressing explanation points. Squad, oh, no, explanation points. <laughs> I think that's up at Squad State. We'll see you there.